from Plans Made Paper. And today I wanted to come on and film a plan with me video for my weekly plan. So um, I'm planning right now the last week of September for 2021 um, in my A5 file effects binder. And I did recently do an updated setup video for this binder. So if you missed it, I'll link it down below so you can check it out if you'd like to. Um, as you can see, I plan super functionally and um, just task and goal oriented. I don't put in a lot of extra stuff or decoration. Um, so that's kind of what you'll see this upcoming week as well is just very functional focused planning. So first thing that I do when I'm planning my week is I just pull out my pages so they're a little easier to write on. So here's my week. I accidentally have an extra sheet of dot grid in here that I wrote on. Typically I plan, you know, directly back to back. This would be the next week, but oh well. Um, I'll just use that dot grid for my weekly review this time. So this is the layout that I've been using for I think all of 2021. It is a week on one page, Sunday start, uh, and then it has dot grid on both sides. Uh, it's a pretty faint dot grid, so I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera, but it does help me to write straight and write neatly uh, most of the time. <laughs> and so that's what I'll be using. And the first thing that I do in my kind of weekly planning process typically is I just take a few minutes to look back over my current week. Um, I can take this page marker out so it's out of the way. And I take a few minutes to kind of reflect on how the week has gone. Did I achieve most of my tasks or goals? Um, am I staying focused? That kind of thing. And I'll do just a really quick weekly review here. Typically I do it on the back of my um, weekly, my weekly page or weekly um, tracker page here, but I actually didn't do one of those this last week. Like I said, I was kind of all discombobulated and I had an extra sheet of dot grid here and then I didn't even end up doing any tracking this week. Um, I do that sometimes if I just kind of don't feel like it for a week, I don't. Um, I just do this for, you know, kind of for mental health. I've mentioned that in a lot of my videos, but it just helps me to um, feel positive about what I'm getting done on, the daily, on a daily basis. But I didn't do it this past week. I, I do plan to do it next week. So typically that's where I do my weekly review is just on the back of that tracking page. But this time I will do it on that extra sheet of dot grid. And when I do my weekly review, I just look back at my kind of goals for my roles and focuses for the year. Um, there's seven areas that I want to try to stay focused on in life. Um, and so I just take a few minutes to look at each of those and jot down how I feel like it went for this week. So I'll go take a minute to do that and just show you guys after. So now that I've got my weekly review done and I've kind of assessed how I did this week and made a little bit of a plan for my focus next week, then I go ahead and get out my weekly pages and I will first take a few minutes to jot down my dated appointments or dated tasks, so things that I need to get done on a specific day. And I get those mostly from my monthly calendar and then if there happens to be anything that I don't have written down in here, but I just have in my head, um, which is things like weekly play dates that we always do. I don't necessarily write those down here in my planner, but I know that we always do them on Thursday or that kind of thing. Then I'll just write them straight on my week, but I'll go ahead and write all those down as well as date the week. 
and I highlight the things that involve being somewhere at a specific time on a specific day. Those are typically the things that I highlight just to really draw my attention and make sure that I'm on time. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys right after. Okay, so there is just my basic um, timed and dated tasks and appointments. Um, we are going out of town towards the end of this week, so that's a little different than usual, but in general, you know, just the basic writing down when we have to be where um, and what days I like to do specific things. So um, for instance, I really like to get my meal prep done on Sunday if I can and get the sheets washed on Sunday sometimes. This week I'm going to try to do that because it's going to be a really busy beginning of the week getting ready for our trip. Um, I always do my weekly home blessing on a Monday and I did recently do a video showing you guys how I do that. Um, it's kind of just my basic weekly cleaning and I get it done super fast. It's super simple. So check out that video. That was my last video that I filmed if you missed it. So that is my basic weekly planning. You can see I've marked off this right-hand side of the page. That's something I've been doing lately just to have a place to write my meals on each day. Sometimes I'll put them over here on the dot grid, but lately I've been wanting to use my extra space on there for preschool planning for my toddler. So I've just been doing my meal planning here on the right side of the page. So I'll go ahead and write in the meals that I do have planned for this week here. And I just get those off of my daily pages. So I typically meal plan for the following week on like a Wednesday. So I actually wanna write that in. Oops, sounds like the toddler just woke up from his nap. So I will come back to this video in a few minutes. Sorry for the pause guys, <laughs> be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm gonna go ahead and write my meals in over here on the side. I just have a couple meals planned for next week since we are going out of town towards the end of the week. So I'll write those in. So those are my meals. I will mention that I definitely move these around sometimes throughout the week. So I do write them on a specific day, but I don't necessarily stick to that depending what we feel like or what is easier to prepare on any given day. So I'll just mention that. And then the next couple of things that I do are my to-do list and my preschool plans for the week. So my to-do list, I get that based off of two places. I'll show you. Um, I look at my previous week, anything I did not get done, and I'll kind of move that on to the next week. And then I also get some to-dos from my week, my monthly view. I have a to monthly to-do list here that I pull from each week. And so I'll go ahead and pull from those two places. Uh, I will also usually write a few action items based off of what I put here for my focus for the week and anything else that comes to mind that 
has occurred to me throughout the week that I know I need to get done. I'll just jot it down on my weekly to-do list. those are my weekly to-dos, at least the things that I've got in my mind right now. I'm going to go ahead and highlight, I really only put down one kind of fly lady or home task for next week. Since we are going to be out of town for the second part of the week, that means I'm going to have to be packing as well to go out of town. I know I'm not going to have a lot of time for zone cleaning, so I'm just going to focus on one, one zone cleaning task, which is decluttering um, and kind of creating my fall closet situation. So I did not get to that done last week, so I'm going to add that for this week. And that's going to be my main zone cleaning focus for next week. I do always do my weekly home blessing as well. So I will make sure I get that done just for general upkeep of the house. So that is my to-do list. The last thing I'm going to do is write down any other plan, any plans I've got for my preschool for my toddler. Um, again, since we're going to be out of town, it's going to look a little different this week. I'll probably just plan one kind of sit down activity that we'll do at home before we leave. And then I'll jot down a few things that we can work on whenever we need something to do um, while we're out of town. He tends to really enjoy those kind of learning activities. And so it's a good thing to do even when we're out of town, just to keep him busy if we kind of need some quiet time or some sit down time where we're not out and about. So I will jot those things down and that'll probably wrap up my weekly planning. All right, so that wraps up my plan for the week. Um, I've got just a few things I know I can do with my toddler to keep him learning and engaged next week. I've got some to do some action items to help me achieve my goals um, for that, you know, things that I feel like I needed to work on a little bit from the previous week. And then I've got my meal planning, everything I need in one place, which is why I plan my week this way. So that is my weekly plan. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my process here today. And if you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them down below. I'm happy to chat with you guys down there. Yeah, I plan to kind of film a few more plan with me type videos in the upcoming weeks and months, probably a daily one, another monthly. So let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, bye.